Hello and welcome to the uh, first in a series of tutorials on Pilot to ATC. Uh, first, uh, we just brought the program up and we're using X-Plane as our simulator. I'm going to click on top here so that our Pilot to ATC will remain on top even if we click over here on the simulator or elsewhere. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the connect button. That connects us to the simulator and sets up our COM and NAV radio. And uh, now we're actually receiving on 119.1. I'm going to mute that. So here up in the upper left, we have some COM radio uh, capabilities, which we'll cover in a later tutorial. Then we have situational awareness information, the next and destination distance, and estimated time and route career speed and ground speed, desired track and actual track, altimeter setting, which we can both uh, read it and set it from here, uh, altitude above ground level as well as the ground elevation, transponder mode and code, and then the nav radio information over here. And that's always displayed on the main screen of Pilot ATC. And just below that we have two different panels where we can display various different items which we'll cover in later tutorials but one of the items we can display is a map and if we're connected to the sim when the map comes up it'll show our aircraft position then we can also show uh, a flight plan which uh, we haven't entered yet or a chart so if we're at an airport uh, in this case, I believe we're in uh, Sacramento Executive Airport, which is KSAC. And we can bring up uh, the approach plates or uh, airport diagram if it's available. Any uh, standard arrival procedures, which I guess there are not, or standard departures, which there are not for this particular airport. Uh, so just a little aid there. And of course, we can zoom in and out of either map or the charts by using the mouse wheel or by using the in and out buttons. And then we can also show radio frequencies. Um, so quite a bit of information available in these two panels, and they operate uh, somewhat independently, although if you select an airport in the map panel and that becomes the current airport for the other information. Then down along the bottom, again always available um, in Pilot ATC main window, we've got our call sign which we can change. In this case I want to be Beach One Victor Bravo instead of Baron. Uh, we have a configuration and uh, airport maintenance screen that we can bring up and we'll have another tutorial on that. Also an information window which will give us information about our current airport, uh, the name, the elevation, and uh, the runways available and ILSs and then uh, also the radio frequencies. So another way to get our radio frequencies. And then a text window over here which uh, displays the conversation between us and the AT air traffic controller. And we'll see that in action in uh, most of the tutorials where we're actually using the voice capabilities. And then finally, uh, hitting this button brings up a window which uh, gives us some help with the grammar. And so here we can select, uh, for example, the ground controller. And then here's all the different phrases that it can respond to. So an IFR clearance request. Uh, we see that uh, we could say any name uh, corresponds to basically it's listening for anything you want to say, like uh, San Francisco. ATC controller would be ground or tower. Call sign is your call sign, in our case, Beach One Victor Bravo. And then you can say one of these required phrases. So, for example, we could say uh, Sacramento ground, Beach One Victor Bravo ready to copy IFR clearance and then that would uh, have it respond with our IFR clearance. So this is just a way for you to go and before you say something 
or if you say something and it's not responding properly you can check to see um, how it's supposed to be said so that's a quick overview and I hope you enjoyed it and tune in for the next one